And a very warm welcome to yet another scintillating edition of the program CAC Weekly, a weekly program that keeps you abreast on the activities and the achievements of the Corporate Affairs Commission. My name is Maria Aduzakai. Coming up, RG CAC rolls out 2024 agenda. Plus, CAC gets 2023 Best Payee Compliant Public Sector Award. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Let's begin with another milestone achievement recorded by the CAC. The Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, has emerged as the Nassarawa State 2023 Best Payee Compliant Public Sector Organization of the Year. The award was in recognition of the CAC's exceptional performance by the Nasarawa State Inland Revenue Service, NSIRS, at its maiden end-of-the-year dinner and award night held in Lafia, the state capital. The Registrar General and CEO of the CAC, Usaini Shag Magajisan, was represented at the event by the head, CAC Lafia Office, Njuma Mohammed. Receiving the award in his office, the Registrar General said the recognition will spur the Commission to continue to honor its tax obligations as well as engender compliance by other taxpaying institutions and the general public for the growth of the economy. He therefore thanked the NSIRS for finding the Commission worthy of the award and commended the CAC staff for their hard work and dedication. CAC Weekly reports that the award was accompanied by a token of cash. We say congratulations to the CAC. Moving on to a big one. Since the assumption of the office, the Registrar General and CEO of the CAC, Hussein Ishaq Magaji-san, has, in a bid to ensure that the Commission achieves its vision of becoming a world-class company's registry, unveiled a four-point agenda. To be accorded, a priority attention are human capacity development, institution building, staff welfare, and improving the Commission's revenue. In our interview segment today, the Registrar General and CEO of the CAC, Usaini Ishak Magaji San, will speak on his 2024 agenda, shed more light on the extension of time for filing annual returns by companies, and many more. Sit back, relax, and enjoy watching. Hussein Ishak Magagi San, Registrar General of the Corporate Affairs Commission. Many thanks for joining us on the program again, sir, and Happy New Year. Same to you, Madina. You're welcome to Thank my you. office. Um, so let's start with assessing the performance of the Commission in 2023. I know you're going to tell me you came in in October, but let's give a general assessment. How did the Commission fare in 2023? Yes, now, you know, governance, you know, is all about continuity. Mm. And I made a very formidable system mm. in a well-structured manner. You know, the operations of the CAC is automated and achieved by my predecessor. So I came in on 16th October. I was appointed on 13th October, mm. 2023. But mm. I resumed office on 16th October, 2023. And I came up with my own strategy bothers on the issue of the welfare of the staff and the issue of the revenue to the commission mm. and uh, i can see from my assumption to duty to now mm. to date at least we have performed wonderfully 
Okay, we'll come back to those your four, you know, um, programs. If the structure of the system in any way helped make your work easier, I mean, the things that were put down by your producers, did it help make the work much easier? No, of course, of course. You know, uh, we used to have a manual process mm -hmm. in the company registration and our post registration mm. processes. Mm. But uh, the commission has done well to ensure that we have automated system. Mm -hmm. That automation means that everything is online. Mm. Any person anywhere in the world, you can achieve a registration within the comfort of your room. Okay. So when I met, I made the system already structured in that way. Mm. Only that I ensure that I attracted or initiated some further initiatives to ensure efficiency and modernity in the operation of the CRP. Okay. The CRP, that's our portal for, for company registration. Mm. Yes. What exactly did you do? Yes, uh, for instance, now, if you, if you observe that part of my initiative, I ensure that uh, we, we carry some advocacy, which encourage some people now to abide by the position of the law in terms of uh, in terms of payment of annual returns, not even payment of annual returns, the filing of annual returns. Annual returns is uh, it's like giving updates about the activity of your company. So we uh, the massive the turnout as a result of that activity, as a result of the advocacy I initiated now the turnout. Now. So we ensure that we we created some additional solutions to our existing CRP, which help us to accommodate the turnout seamlessly without issue. Okay. Yes. Okay. Why extension? Because I remember I asked you this question before. You said, no, 31st is 31st, and people have to pay their money. So what happened? No, the reason, as a result of the, we know we had some clamoring from the SMEs. Okay. People with low-income earners that already into the system, mm. they are finding it difficult to meet up. And we had challenges of network leads. So a lot of issues from or first compel us okay. to see reasons because this government of President Bola Hamid Kinobi Kisefa mm. is happening, have come to uh, create more opportunities mm. than not to kill opportunities now. So as a result of that, we acceded to the yearnings of the public. Coming for extension of time, we said, wow, we must extend this. In order to, to extend this, let us extend it sufficiently. That is why we just it up with three months additional opportunity for people to meet up now to 1st of April 2024. But notwithstanding the fact that will not touch the already our population. We know we made two publications. Yes. Two separate publications. We have I made an existing publication, existing okay. stand of the commission, which already commenced a proceeding okay. for striking of 100,000 companies that failed to, uh, meet up okay. with a lot of obligations on them now. So that one is done. We extended period and the process will now be terminated. And that one, my extension will not affect that Okay, process a process that has been. already been uh, yes. going on. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's good that you came up with, um, you said that, um, President Ahmed in this administration wants businesses to go, but don't want to strangle businesses. I'm sure you're aware of the circular that was released that, um, you know, every MBA, every agency, you have to make 50% remaining times of your revenue generation. Mm -hmm. How would that affect you? It's certainly, it is all about the perception. Mm. The, the government perception, of course, we are included in that circular, mm. but the government perception on us is we are revenue generating agency. Mm. We like, we are like NNPC, like NEMASA, like NNPC, where the, they are generating money for the day to day activities of the government. Mm. But CAC, of course, we generate money, but our activity, if you look at it critically, is we are service provider of mm. sorts. Mm. Because we are, we have the sole role of supervising business, uh, registered businesses in Nigeria. Mm. We have the sole role to regulate the activities of companies in Nigeria. We have the sole role to register companies in Nigeria. So this, our activity, 
not any other government institution is providing that kind of activity. We are providing service to the public and the general government. Mm -hmm. So by implication, if you see, we are giving, we are service providers, not revenue generating, mm -hmm. but we are being categorized as revenue generating agencies. Mm -hmm. And uh, is that fair? No, we it's can't. not fair, it's isn't not, it? Of course, if you say you you will assess us based on the revenue generation per se, mm. you are putting things in a tight corner. Yeah. Because at it is, we cannot able to meet up. We cannot able to meet up. We are day to day activities, activities with yeah. a lot of things because we champion the issue of ease of doing business mm -hmm. in the country. Mm. Once CAC now asks to go and generate revenue, it will kill businesses mm. in the country. Mm. Reason being that. We are going definitely the only means of generating revenue is to change to review our fees. Mm -hmm. And once we review our fees, definitely the discussion of the company will become difficult. And we are clamoring for uh, artisanal miners, uh, drivers, mechanics to come on board mm -hmm. so that they will be in the formal city. They will formalize their businesses now. Mm -hmm. If you are calling them now, and you said no, you have reviewed the fees now. Mm. They can't come in, mm. and the tax net of the government will not be accommodated. Them, so where the government will be at loss. Mm. This kind the kind of issues mm. that uh, if you say CAC must generate revenue at all cost, so do we have the issue of ease of doing business? We can't balance it now, and the government is doing possible because we have a listening president. Mm. And is the people are, are, him. are you talking to the president? Are you going to talk to the minister or the president to say, please exclude CAC? We can't cope with a 50% remittance. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They are, in fact, I have been invited by uh, coordinating minister of the economy. Mm. I've been invited on other people. They have zero reasons or why CAC cannot be included in kind of thing. Because we are championing the mandate of ease of doing business. And most of the bulk money coming to the CAC, mm -hmm. even in terms of registration, is stamp duty. We are collecting on behalf of FRS. Yeah, so we are, we are, we have been served as like a conduit pipe. The money coming to the CAC goes to the FRS. It's part of the collection of the FRS, mm -hmm. not CAC. Okay. So nothing much coming to the CAC. We are, that's why I say we are providing service, not mm -hmm. generating revenue per se. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you think that um, the president will listen to you? No, definitely. If you observe just recently now, mm -hmm. we made publication mm -hmm. over a company with foreign participation. We made, we, publi we publicized it that any company with foreign participation, the minimum share capital should be 100 million share capital now. <laughs> and we have to review our, because that one is not that we increase the share capital now. We made attempt to comply with the provision of a, a, a of regulation from the Ministry of Interior. Mm. It is a requirement of business permit at the Ministry of Interior. If you are coming to do a business as a foreigner now, you must have the evidence of hundred million paid off share capital cash back now. So it is their part of their handbook and as a custodian of the issue of shares in Nigeria, that uh, share share capital in Nigeria. That's corporate affairs commission. We 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 publicized it that we made it that that's the position of the law at the piece now. Mm. But because of how important, how strategic the CAC in the economy now, people make a lot of you know the government has to see reason how to, we have to withdraw that yeah. we have to withdraw that aspect, mm. saying that instead of pair of share capital now, we no longer we must not show the evidence of the hundred million naira cash to come to become you know, to own a company in Nigeria or whatever. Now. Okay. So you can see how CAC now is being pushed to a tight corner as a result of this cycle. Because okay. we don't have, we don't, we can't, we don't have, uh, our source of income is limited. Mm. Limited in the sense that we are providing service. Okay. It's not that our aim is to generate revenue alone, mm -hmm. it's to provide That's service seven. to the government. Yeah. And if they take that away from you, Yes, it's going to be a, it's going to be an issue. It's going to be an issue because of the nature, of how strategic the CAC is, is mm. in the country now. Mm. Uh, CAC is important. That's why you start your business. Mm. For for FRS to try to get more revenue, it must be cut. The CAC must catch, must okay. must go out a register company for them to even mm. target. Mm. 
how soon do you think this issue will be resolved? In terms of bringing you, taking you away from the list of um, <laughs> revenue generating agencies, so that you don't start remitting for well, the policy makers, the players in the policy yeah. making now, they are, they are, they are doing, they are, I think they are studying everything now. Okay. We table our complaint now. Mm. We are waiting for the response now. Okay. All right. So let's go to your four point agenda when you came in. You said, um, staff, you know, welfare, uh, revenue generation for the agency. Um, you know, ensuring, but let's start from even the staff, you know, welfare. I know it's about three months now or four mm. months since you've assumed office. How far would staff welfare? I can tell you now, I can brag. Are your staff happier now. now? When I came, yeah, I met two union okay. fighting against each other. Okay. So first, one of some of the unions must took the commission itself to cost mm. a lot of things. And I have much understanding now with them. All the union now, as a result of demonstration of my ability to resolve the issues now, okay. all of them, all their cases are because, in fact, they have withdrawn their cases on okay. their own. Okay. As I'm telling you, when I came, I made two pending promotions couldn't conclude it. I ensure that I concluded that processes. Staff were issued their notification letter on promotion. Two pending promotions I made. I made on my way. That's part of the world there. And I made the issue of indiscriminate posting. Indiscriminate posting. You see someone here, his family are somewhere far. He has, for reason known to the previous administration, he has a posting that is not uniting him with his family. Mm. If you come with a genuine complaint, a compassionate ground. I made sure people are get a very good person now. They are now have a very conducive atmosphere to operate. Okay. They are working. That is one aspect of it. Issue of payment of salary mm -hmm. as at when due. We pay salary as at when due. Government, federal government wage awards. I paid. We are not owing. In fact, we are not, uh, we are paying up to date. Okay. And uh, what so many things the the staff are now proud because they are getting what they are supposed to get. Okay. Us. What about areas, NHIS, um, housing, all of those things that used to come? I'm telling you, no pending. In fact, all the exit benefits now, okay. all the exit, including the former RG, okay. all the exit benefits are ensured exactly. In fact, if you exited from this service today. I will, your file reach my table today. I will settle your benefits today, even tomorrow. If you, in fact, if you exit today, I will settle it tomorrow. So that's how fast you are. I'm telling you, I don't have any pending issue of exit benefits. Mm -hmm. I don't have any issue of, in fact, all what we're supposed to enjoy, mm -hmm. like retreat, like all staff are traveling abroad, mm -hmm. and in fact, everything, staff welfare, you can give it to me. You can't take that one from me. Okay, that, that's a good one to hear. So you are a, a, an, an RD that is very compassionate and very concerned. That's exactly. If you go to my point, four point agenda now, mm. three, three, three out of the four is all, all about star welfare. Mm. The last, which is the revenue generation. Mm. What I can even I can even brag more because yes, that's where I'm coming to. So how much have you been able to generate? Because you came in with this energy, this mm -hmm. drive. I remember you telling me if I go to Kano. Mm -hmm. I won't live until I make all the billions that I need to make. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you did say that um, you're targeting 100 billion mm -hmm. every year, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So where are we? Of course, let me tell you, within three months now, uh, how much if, you can compare the, if you can compare the rates now mm -hmm. of the money coming to the commission, mm -hmm. compared with the previous one now, you can say I get three times of what is used to come to the commission previously. Okay. From October, November, December, most mm -hmm. especially December. Mm -hmm. The last if you see the commission, how much commission generated last year? I think it was 17 billion or thereabout. But the commission now is surpassed 20 billion era because of this three months. And if you compare. In three months, because, you got 20 billion. No, in three months, okay. if you can, if you, what I mean, the whole year. Okay. okay. The whole year. And the chunk of money came from the last three months of okay. my existence as the registrar general of the commission. Okay. And I'm telling you now from the January now, first January now. Till today. The way I'm moving now, the way I'm moving now, I can generate much higher, the re more revenue because I initiated a means of getting resources, not 
traditionally means of getting resources to the CEOs. Okay. I have initiated another process of generating And what is that process? It, I went wrong. In fact, I was, in fact, uh, making my superintending. I, in fact, activated my powers of supervision. Okay. In fact, I went to one of the banks. In fact, I discovered some business accounts operating active without okay. business, without registration with CAC. Okay. And this, some of the banks so far in my collection, I have like more than a one million business accounts operating with a CAC registration. So, and you can imagine how much mm-hmm. will come, come from, from that there. angle. Mm-hmm. That is one aspect of it. And second aspect of it, I have attracted some of this kind of book registration. In fact, I'm concluding plan now by next year we'll start MOU now. NNPC Foundation will register coppers that they are graduating. They will graduate with the skill that creative entity for them. I'm mm. going to provide massive bulk registration in that aspect. And recently, I just got approval of ever to give massive registration for hyperdeck I mean, in thousands. Mm. So if you can imagine that issue of realization, 100 billion now mm. for this year, because I'm just beginning there now, come back to me now. At the end of 2024, I will tell you my, I able, I'm able to achieve that 100 billion to have taken about. And surplus and extra. Yeah, <laughs> All right. Okay. That brings me to your programs of 2024. Um, I know, um, last week you did tell me that, um, you have a lot of programs for 2024 and you need Nigerians to know about them. So let's start. So what are your programs for 2024? I know you told me that this one, the ones you just said now. My part action of the, plan. Yeah, my for action 2024, plan, yeah. Ultimately, my action plan is integration okay. of the formal players in the economy into the formal sector. Like I just mentioned to you now, mm. I will, I'm going to attract this January a lot. Mm. I'm attracting over a million. I'm attracting over a million entity, or non-entity. Hmm. Coming to the formal sector will now become an entity. Now, this is one of the integration of it, and this is what I'm going to achieve this year to increase the revenue base of the CEs. Hmm. Okay. This integration of the informal players into hmm. the formal, formal sector. sector yeah. That's one. Yeah. Now, what, are, what other ones? Consequently, I ensure to have a smooth reigning now to deliver to deliver what the government expected me to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm also going, reaching out to the American embassy now for the support coming, the funding coming to the fintech now mm. from that place. Now, some of the companies now they are operating there with registration incorporated mm. in America, but here is an open space for them, nothing for them. That's secondly. And thirdly, now, uh, CBN has just lifted embargo in doing yes. cryptocurrency yeah. businesses now. Yeah. So, uh, CBN just published a guideline on how this thing will work about. And for, you can't operate this thing without uh, getting a license with the SEC, Scrutiny mm. Information Commission. And I was out already published in my pages telling the world that you can't go and secure registration without being registered with CAC. Yes, yeah. So crypto, I'm urging the youth now to cash in into the business, come mm. in, mm. but ensure that to uh, comply with the provision of the law. Mm. Because in Nigeria, now by virtue of section 83, of the company and allied matters are you can't do any business in Nigeria without being registered because cryptocurrency is a business. Yeah. So for you to do to embark into that kind of business, ensure that you register your name. So this is part of the integration I'm talking about. Okay. I'm going to integrate millions this year, 2024. So you down. have your job cut out for you. I'm telling you, that's all I'm going to do. Early work is over now. Okay. Um. So what should Nigerians expect more? Especially your customers in 2024. Okay. Quality service. I'm here for them. Okay. Service to deliver of service. Our operations in this, uh, our operations online will be improved. Our, all our activities, our services now, will, I will ensure we take it to further level. Mm-hmm. So quality service is assured by one grade. Okay. All right. Um, Register General, thank you very much indeed, sir, for your time. Thank you very much, Madina. Some other time. Great insights there from the RG.
Do you know that by the provision of Section 421, Subsection 1 of Karma 2020, the annual return of a company limited by shares or guarantee or unlimited shall be signed, completed and delivered to the Corporate Affairs Commission not later than 42 days after the annual general meeting for the year? So, have you updated your records with the CAC? Well done if you have, and if you are yet to do that, please hurry now to www.cac.gov.ng to file your return to avoid being struck. The CAC remains committed to working hard to provide prompt and efficient service to customers in line with global best practice. And that does it for this week's edition of the program, CAC Weekly. We hope you enjoyed watching. For comments and inquiries, please take advantage of our social media handles and helpline. On Instagram and Facebook, we're at Corporate Affairs Commission. On X, we're at CAC Nigeria 1. Our email is cservice at cac.gov.ng. You can reach our website at www.cac.gov.ng. Our call center is 070-8062-9000. Do join us next week for another interesting edition of the program, Same Time, Same Station. From me, Maria Adozakaya, and the whole team here, it's bye for now.